Good evening and welcome to the Hanson Board of Selectmen meeting. Tonight is Tuesday, September 17th, 2019, and this meeting is being recorded and will be shown on Whitman Hanson Cable Access Television. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. Okay, fabulous. And with that, Mr. Bloss may impose upon you to read the public announcements at upcoming meetings. Public announcements. Caution, doxo.com is not affiliated with the town of Hanson for online bill payment. All residents and taxpayers are hereby advised that the billing, bill paying services provided by www.doxo.com are not endorsed by the town, nor can the town accept any responsibility for transactions conducted through www.doxo.com. While this service does list contact information for the town of Hanson, the town has no contract or affiliation with this company. The town clerk would like to remind dog owners that dog licenses are now available. Fee is $15 or $10 for neutered dogs. A current rabies certificate is required in, in order to license your dog. For questions, please contact the town clerk at 781-293-2772. Dollars for Scholars annual electronic recycling day will be held on Saturday, September 21st, that's this Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the McQuan Elementary School. For details, go to www.whitmanandhanson.dollarsforscholars.org or call Mike at 781-252-9683. There will be a special voter registration session held on Friday, September 27th from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the Town Hall. This will be the last day to register to vote for the October 7th special town meeting. Any citizen may register to vote at the Town Clerk's Office during regular business hours, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. online or by email and registration. Any resident citizen who will be 18 years of age by October 7th is eligible to register to vote by September 27th. The town clerk's office will be closed on Friday, September 27th, 2019. Volunteers are needed on the following committees, 200th Anniversary, Board of Health, Capital Improvement, Cultural Council, Disabilities, Economic Development, Finance, Highway Building Committee, Historical Commission, Memorial Day Patriotic Observance, Memorial Field Trustees, and Zoning Board Alternate. Applications for appointment and info on the committee is available on the town website. Upcoming meetings, Selectman's Meeting Wednesday, September 18th at the high school at 7 p.m., Tuesday, September 24th, 7 p.m. The Thomas Mill Committee meets on Wednesday, September 25th at 7 p.m., there's a selectman's meeting Tuesday, October 1st at 7 p.m. And on Monday, October 7th at 7 p.m. before the October special town meeting, which begins at 7.30 at the middle school. There's a selectman's meeting on Tuesday, October 8th if needed, and an October special town meeting on Tuesday, October 8th at, if needed. Can Thank I just you. make one correction? Actually, yes. the town clerk's office is going to be closed this Friday. The 20th, not the 20th. They'll be open on the 27th. Okay. Okay. Uh, tomorrow night's meeting is posted as a selectman's meeting, but it's really a Whitman Hanson School Committee meeting. But um, if we all attend and perhaps speak, it could be construed as deliberating. So we post it as a school, as a um, you know, as a board of selectmen meeting, in addition to it being um, the school committee meeting. Um, okay, thank you, Mr. Boss. Well done. Uh, okay, well, we're going to take things out of order, um, partly so that we don't bore people to tears that are here in the audience, and partly because we don't have everybody here that we need in order to um, discuss other items. So I really hate to do this to you, Ms. Moore, but do you mind coming up um, and just telling us who you are and what you've been working on and how it all came about, and, and we'll just kind of take it from there. Yeah, you just sit in the front seat. You don't have to go up to the podium or anything like that. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Um, my name's Kim Moore. I'm just a Mormon Hanson that knows we have a basketball court in town and just 
saw the boat area on that new spot in past parks and fields and that's really our Well, <laughs> so can you tell us exactly where the uh, basketball hoops are going to go and what you've been working on? Just because not everybody may be up to speed on. on. Does everyone know what boat area field mm -hmm. is? Yep. So there's a skate park behind there and there's an empty, I think it may have been a tennis court at one point that's been open for years as far as I know with nothing in it. So that would be a perfect spot for a basketball court. Okay. Behind the skate park. And you've been doing fundraising. I started this three yep. weeks ago and yep. I got all my money already. Okay. And so can you tell us what the plans are for that piece? Of, obviously the basketball court, but... Um, it's already it's, existing. Yeah. So I'm just seal coating it and putting two nets in. And that's really... Okay. Um, okay, so the reason that we had Miss, Mrs. Moore come tonight is um, there's a protocol which didn't necessarily get followed and it's absolutely not anything that Mrs. Moore knew about or could have controlled, um, but because it is town owned property, we have to vote to accept that happening with that property and it really, um, although parks and fields could certainly be supportive and has been su supportive, that really isn't where that should have stopped. It should have been passed on to this board to take a look at. So I just wanted to make sure we close the loop. Um, so are we making a motion? So move. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's no, like, somebody called me. There's no bulldozers or whatever. No, so I, <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Um, so that, I, I believe that was a form of basketball court That's what back in the day. Yeah. Because yeah, <clears throat> I've been on parks and fields for seven or eight years. Yeah. I wasn't there that night that you were there. Yeah. So I think what you're doing is absolutely absolute great idea. Mm -hmm. The only question I have is, so you raised, I saw your Facebook, you raised $5,000. So how will you show how you're going to spend that five thousand dollars? So you say you're going to seal code it and I put up. For everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I. I, I was get, just. I'm I get, just curious. No, just, I get what you're saying, but I kind of am looking at it as like it's a private fundraising initiative, and it isn't anything that the town was involved in. So I'm not going to really say show us the you know it wasn't no no i don't want to see him i'm just know? i'm just curious as a as a private citizen yeah. if i donate you know how do i know that that it money's sounds going like to it's that transparency that's all. what do you thought we would have, have to accept it as a donation when okay. it's all done that's you what should i can come forward and say it's been completed it's seal coded the hoops are up and the board will vote to accept the donation well, accepting okay. the donation of the work that was done yes not of the money because she will have already spent the money correct okay correct all right. So does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I didn't get any money from the town. Or yeah, 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 uh, yeah. But sometimes we have, um, this isn't the case here, but sometimes yeah. if somebody wants to earmark a project, they'll donate the money to the town and then the town will turn around. Okay. Uh, honestly, this is a more effective and frankly probably cheaper way of getting that done. So that that is good um, that it's getting done through that process. Um, so that's why I figured yeah. out someone's going to come and get funds through somewhere. But it's really so not probably right. community yeah. preservation yes. could have given you, but you do have to jump through hoops. That's why you've got to go talk, really do an application, blah, you blah, blah. You've got to go much faster. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I have no problem showing anybody receipts. I wouldn't take any no, money. You, well, know, you know what? I told Parks and Field that I would actually give them all the receipts. We sense. applaud your initiative. Yeah. Um, a lot of good things get done by people that are motivated to just go out and do them. So I, I applaud your initiative. I'm supportive of you as a mom and trying to find stuff for the kids to do. I think it's awesome. Um, we're just trying to tick and tie yeah, everything. No, no, that's fine. Um, so um, any other questions? Okay, with that I will entertain. I thought you started a motion and then we got, I don't know what happened. Okay. Jim moved. Do we, do, do we need wording for this motion? We do. We're moving to... To support the... Um, fundraising effort for the basketball courts at Boteri Field. The fundraising or the work that she's work. doing? Okay. Yeah. Second. There's a whole move to that. Jim I moved think. it. Oh, okay. I, because I he's so, okay. he, Jim is very yeah, so athletic. Moved. Okay. All right. Great. All in favor? It. Thanks, Kim. Well, you can come when I have the grand opening. Yes, oh, please. please. So athletic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> The right guy. Mm -hmm. Because you moved, you moved it. You get, you get to go to the ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you. Appreciate your efforts. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Um, okay, so we are going to move on to. Oh, good. Audrey's here. Okay, awesome. Um, Audrey, Hi. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, we have got you on our uh, 
agenda to discuss the 200th anniversary update and primarily I know the Monte Carlo thing is still a ball in play as far as dates yep. and what have you but I'm wondering if you can tell us where you guys are at what fantastic events you've got coming up and all that other good stuff okay. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, so we met we've met the last um, couple weeks and I'm sorry um, can I back up the truck sure. just a bit just for people that may not know um, Audrey Flanagan is on the 200th anniversary committee and she is the chair of the 200th anniversary committee and she is keeping us all chugging along and getting stuff done so with that go ahead Audrey. Um, so we've met a little bit more frequently the last over the last month um, as you know we had the Wampanoag exhibit going on so that we, we met less around that um, and our last two meetings were very productive we really just nailed down exactly what events we want to hold in 2020. There's been a lot of talk for a couple of years on all different ideas. Um, and so we, we talked about what, what makes sense um, for the year and um, assigned project managers, more or less, to each event. So um, in February, we have um, the dinner and a proclamation. Did I say that mm -hmm. right? Um, we haven't. Um, settled on a, a venue yet. Um, we're thinking Camp Kwani, but we're not sure in February with the snow and the plowing and, and all that. So we're, um, but that's going to be more of a formal dinner kickoff. Uh, it's the actual anniversary of the town. So um, in March, we have, um, we're going to join in with the business network on their St. Patrick's dinner. Um, so Every year, the Business Network has that event at Camp Kwani for St. Patrick's Day, and um, we're just going to join in to help and just promote our our functions for the rest of the year and that sort of thing. Um, in May, we're hoping to have historical talks with. Um, we want to talk, you know, get in touch with the historic commission and society, and um, plan some sort of talks, whether they're at different locations around town or just, you know, just some genuine historical talks on the town. And um, at our second to last meeting, we had members from the Mattakesa tribe come and visit us. They had heard about the Wampanoag tribe. The Mattakesa tribe were the actual Native Americans that were in Hanson. Um, and um, so they're, they're, uh, uh, they're, I think they're based out of Needham, is that right? Newton, he's Newton. Larry, well, Wapaniko and yeah. Amy Larry yeah. is uh, from Newton. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're all over the whole world. Yeah. And all this, yeah. yeah. So they, they were interested in, in um, joining us on some sort of event or um, just to get their name out there. They're, they're trying to, they're not, they're not as big as the Wampanoags or some of the other local tribes. So they, they're really just trying to get the, their word out, you know, and their history. Um, and they were here in Hanson and in Pembroke. And, um, he was very fascinating. We were all like on the edge of our seat just talking to him about that he was talking about the history of this area and um, so that was really neat. So we're hoping to have them come along in the month of May too and do some talks and um, walks and um, things like that. So um, we also have, a, um, I don't know, who, who is doing the geocaching? Uh, Christine Spence, and um, I think she's working with Janine Adams. Okay, yeah. so they, they were talking about doing some geocaching, through, maybe just do some specialized geocaching on historical landmarks in the town um, for the month of May also. Um, and what is that? Geocaching? Yeah. So geocaching is, it's, um, it's, it's like, like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. But with coordinates. Are there, are there sites there? There's yes. Sites, yes. Sites. Yeah. Sites. Yeah. You, you get navigation coordinates. So, okay. so it will tell you, you know, whatever, you know, uh, by whatever, and you've got to go find it. And then there's some little prize there. And, and so okay. it's very big in scouting. It's very mm -hmm. big with kids. Well, can I just say that Matt Dyer yeah. is a geocacher and has <laughs> taught me and brought me <laughs> all through New Hampshire at some point geocaching. Well, so then Matt, he could be Matt very ought specific. to get in, in on our 200th anniversary <laughs> geocaching project. Yeah. Um, Mary, I'm glad you asked what it was because I had no clue. Oh, well, I mean, it's a great community. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's really neat. If you haven't done it, you, you should. It's a free app, and you can, there are caches all over Hanson that people just, you know, they just hide. And, and you go, and they're, they're not, 
they're not out in the open. You've got to really yeah. look for them. Like, yeah. You could be right on top of it, and it could be in a rock wall, or mm -hmm. you know, it's camouflage. So you, you find the cache. It's usually just a little box, and you open it up, and there's little junk things like, oh, and you and you take something. No, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> 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 no, no, yeah, yeah, but it right. does encourage people to explore. Yeah, you know, it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's like Pokemon, except there's no Pokemon yes, prizes. Yes, exactly. You <laughs> usually leave something, and you take something, and there's a little book, and you, you know you can sign your name and that that sort of thing. So it's it's neat. Okay. Um, June is to be determined. We were talking about maybe some carnival, um, but I'm not sure where we're, you know where we're at with that. Um, can I just introduce? Absolutely. That was one we really wanted to do a Cape Verdean type of theme thing. And I'm looking at Miss Diaz. I'm sorry to do that to you, but you were on my things to do list to reach out to and okay. see if we could talk about this. So, um, mm -hmm. and just to see if we could, uh, because I know um, similar to including the Native American component, we wanted to acknowledge that we've got a, a Cape Verdean component in town and that that's very, been very important to the history of the town. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to find some way to celebrate, to celebrate that. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we were thinking maybe a typical carnival or maybe something different, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with, with like a Cape Verdean flair, maybe Cape Verdean food. I don't know. But anyway, noodle that, think about it, and I'll have my people call your people. Okay. Okay. You have people? July we have Old Home Day, which is just going to be like a real traditional um, family day on the on the field, depending on how big it gets. But we're um, Chris Christy Spence is reaching out to churches and um, different organizations in town to see. In, in businesses to yep. see if they want to be involved in just hosting some sort of game, like a, like horseshoe races and um, sack uh, races, sack races that's yeah. um, egg toss, all that. Yeah, stuff. that yeah. kind of stuff. So kind of like what we did with family camping weekend, where we just had like good traditional family fun, but in a bigger sense. Yeah. Um, August we have a food truck rodeo. Alex Stewart is working on that. Um, where we'll have just maybe like reach out to the South Shore um, Food Truck Association, have some food trucks and some live music, um, and possibly somebody very locally very famous as our live music. We're working on that. Possibly. Yeah. Um, September is the parade. Um, and we do have a committee working on the parade um, already. So. Um, October is an Oktoberfest beer garden event, um, which, you know, don't really have a location for that, but we were sort of thinking on the Plymouth County um, grounds. Yeah, things change. Yeah, things yeah, are changing. yeah, so Matt, Matt and Josh are working on that one. Um, the dream will come true, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> you and Josh have been talking about that ever since you the brainstorming discussion. <laughs> Uh, and then in December, we'll just probably, you know, celebrate with the holiday fest with the, the committee that I already put that on. So we'll, we'll um, you know, join in, join in on that, hopefully. Uh, and that's the year. I mean, we've got, we've got calendars that Matt is working on, and we're hoping to nail down, like, exact dates on some of these things so that we can add them into the calendars that will be for sale for the, the year 2020. Uh, Matt worked on the project, and he got some really great submissions from uh, local um, townspeople on on Hanson, you know, photography. photography. Yeah. So did Marjorie submit anything? Yep. She okay. Did. She's one of my yeah. favorite photographers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she has some good stuff. So, um, so we're working on we're working on that. That'll hopefully be out on sale. And we also we still have the Cafe Press website is up and running where you can buy merchandise. There. Um, Christmas ornaments are up there. There are bags and sweatshirts and all that sort of stuff. And we have stuff here in this building that we sell at pop-up stores where we have events also. So that's it. Uh, Do you guys have any questions? How do you get on that um, website or that store? The store is... I think if you Google Cafe Press Hanson in 200, that comes up. Yeah. Give it a whirl. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, there is a website. It's on our Facebook page. Yeah, you get to it through our Facebook page. Yeah, there's a link on Cafe our Facebook Press. page. Okay. And then Hanson 200. If you yeah. just Google it, okay. I think it just pops up. There are hats and aprons and blankets and pillows. and I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. And it's made to order. So, you know, it's not like we had to 
front any money to it's hold the It's not a good site. quality, it's a, too. It's a yeah, very good quality. I ordered a t-shirt, yeah. and it was really nice. So yeah. it wasn't washed out. The screen was nice and bright, and it was... Do you have coffee mugs? They, yeah, there are coffee mugs. They do, and Mr. Yeah. Young actually purchased one of our first uh, hats. Mm -hmm. He replaced yes. his traditional beige hat with our Hanson 200 <laughs> hat. So, yeah. I'll do, um, from yeah. the library, oh, um, I'm sure okay. we can help you out with a couple of things you talked about. Okay, you great. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, did anybody have any questions? Um, we appreciate all the hard work you guys are doing. And um, I know one of the other things that we're working on is trying to see if we can connect the Matakisa tribe with the schools. So somehow that they can become, you know, connected and, um, and our little people in Hanson can learn about um, you know about the history that way um, but um, you know we maybe want to invite people to attend meetings yeah, um, yeah. our meetings are posted on Facebook I, I, I think Marcus manages the Facebook page and I think he posts our meetings so we're meeting again the 26th yeah, yeah. we meet the last Thursday of the month yeah. with our traditional meeting and then we've been having a second meeting in the month just to get caught up and, or and organized it's a great group of people. Yeah. It's just a diverse, very, you know, motivated mm -hmm. group of people. Yeah. So, and um, Audrey's ke keeping us on task. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Audrey. Thank oh, you, Audrey. Good job. Thanks thank for you. the update. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, moving right along. Um, we will finalize and sign the warrant articles. Mary, did you want to cue this up for us? I do. We can make a couple of recommendations. Um, the unpaid bills, I believe that's a final number. 3100 um, $3,100.27 are coming from free cash and $3,565 are coming from retained earnings. So it's a total of $6,665. I'll make a motion to recommend Article 1. Second. All in favor? Okay. Todd and I, we're just about complete with the supplemental budget, uh, but we we may have some adjustments, so we can we can make a recommendation on that when we do the uh, run through on October first. Okay. The article seven for the town, uh, the by the town planner for the map books and the codifying of the zoning. I think those are are hard numbers, and we can move forward with those. I'll make a motion to recommend Article seven. Second. All in favor? <coughs> An eight. Um, is that part of it too? I'll make That's, a, yeah, yeah. Okay. Make a motion to recommend Article eight. Second. All in favor? Okay. Um. Next is article 18, the trees. So these are removing the trees around the lodge. Um, I mentioned that we, we've put that now under the, the tree warden. I have not getting, uh, gotten information on the... Um, um, Arborist. Arborist. So we, we can hold that. Okay. Want. Article 20, add to stabilization, and article 21, add to school stabilization. Todd received um, the free cash certification, and I believe it was like one point six million dollars. So we can we can fund those through free cash at this time. Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. You're quick on pulling the trigger today, <laughs> Mister. <Sorry. laughs> on twenty and twenty-one. Okay. Matt seconded. All in favor? I think I think we already made this recommendation, but we can do it again. I I must not have written it down uh, on the uh, moderator term. We did we yes. voted yes. that we all right? We did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Five zero at the last okay. meeting. Back in May, we had an article on the warrant to issue an easement to four ten Woodbine Avenue. Uh, we had it on there. The board discussed it, and they didn't want to issue the easement without some type of monetary uh, in consideration, yes. consideration for that. So um, just moving forward, I, I don't know what happened. I, I know somebody had, Mike may have looked into it, and then nothing actually happened. So I did not put it on the warrant, and...
today, just today, I received a call from the bank who wants to know what's going on with Woodbine Avenue. And I told them I you know, thought that the previous town administrator had spoken to them and this is what it was. And this woman I spoke to did not know anything. I said, but the board's looking to receive some type of consideration for that. And she says, you know, what are they considering? And I said, I don't know. And she says, well, you know, we'll see what we can do. So uh, I said, we have a town meeting coming up in October. We're closing the warrant tonight. And so I just wanted to put it on. We may not be able to come to an agreement, but I'd rather at least have it on the warrant mm -hmm. and see if we can negotiate it and get this put to bed. I I'm would loving this entire thing. I would, okay. I would really, there are a few things I would really like to get wrapped up before I retire. This is on the list. <laughs> Uh, look, I'm thrilled that they're even considering it because I know Mike pushed back on me quite heavily mm -hmm. and did not think we would get any consideration. Well, now um, they want to get rid of it, and they can't get rid of it because we have this outstanding And that's how I knew issue. that they would that's eventually right. come <laughs> back to us and give us something. Around. Um, so um, we can, I, I, I can bring Kate in this on negotiations. I'm not a very So do we need to open we the need warrant to open back the, up? If, if you to... guys want to move forward with this, we need to open the warrant put this on and then we can close the warrant. I mean, worst case scenario, we'd pass over it if you don't get any right. any a consideration that we're either gonna consider or anything. Correct, okay. I would rather have it on and pass over yeah. than miss it and have, have, have the next person. All right, I'll entertain a motion to open the warrant. So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to place article 26. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Place and recommend. And and. Well, we can't recommend without the dollar amount, right? They're giving us money. You know, it's right, not like but, we're spending money. Right, so. but what if we don't like the dollar amount? I, maybe I don't want to recommend it if I don't know what the dollar amount is. I mean, they could say okay. a buck, and I'm not going to recommend it. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Let's well, just place. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, um, I do have a question about that. Yes. We originally asked for 5,000. I'm sorry, where are we? Oh, article 12. Wait a minute, just have we voted? I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're right into oh, something oh, else. Sorry. But we can go back there in a minute. Can we just wrap oh, this up? Absolutely. Okay. Because um, if I go that way, then I'm going to go this yeah. way. So, um, okay. So, uh, back to 26. So, we're voting to place. Voted, um, did somebody vote? Yep, we have a motion so, and a second. Okay, all in favor of placing. Okay, and um, we'll hold that thought. I don't, I don't, just in case we have to modify something because of what um, Mrs. Cafardo was about to say. I don't know what she's about mm -hmm. to say, but okay, Mrs. Cafardo. We originally asked for $5,000. It says $10,000 here. When we met with Karen, um, she said that it was, she thought it was going to be more than five thousand, and right. asked that we adjust it to ten. What article okay. is she referring to? Twelve. Twelve. The oh, moving all. all those trees. Okay. So is that that's? That's all. Yeah. She didn't tell me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm not looking at the warrant. Does it say ten in the warrant? It says yeah, it ten. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, I had a quick question on twelve. Do you know if somebody reached out to the tree warden on the trees over there? Yes. He did. He did. Okay. According to what um, Karen told me, she had spoken to the tree warden. He's the one who said they all need to come down. Um, they do. Mm -hmm. We wanted them all down. They're mm -hmm. 30 years old. They're mm -hmm. way past their prime. But yesterday I was talking to Matt about the grant for trees. So that's why right now I'm a little confused. But. Well, worst case scenario, if you get the funding, you can't, you can get the funding allocated and not use it. And if your grant doesn't come through, then you're still going to be able to move forward. But if you don't secure the money now and you wait for the grant that, and you don't get the grant, then you'll be looking at another cycle. Right. Right. So that may be perhaps where they're coming from. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, she didn't say that it was changed to 10. I thought it was still at 5. Oh, okay. All and right. we did get um, two estimates. One, not even going there. Um, okay. <laughs> and the second one we really like. Mm -hmm. But I've also been talking to Matt about the grant, so we may not need all the funds. Correct, and, and Laura's absolutely correct. You know, just because you have the money doesn't mean you you need to spend it. And with the town account, if he sees that, you're not going to spend it. So okay. if we get the grant, but you don't want to, you know, place something in in the hopes of getting a grant, and not getting it, and then right. then okay. not I didn't realize that it could be changed, but that's yes. good. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's changed before we get it to town meeting. Yeah. That's why okay. we go over these. 
these warrant articles with the department heads in the department head meeting, make sure I have any changes before we get to the board and we, we finalize it. Okay, so thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, then I will entertain a motion to close the warrant. So moved. Second. All in favor? Okay, fantastic. Okay, and I have the corrected verbiage, which are in your current warrants, um, on Articles 31 and 32. They were minor changes, and uh, they are ready to go. And just for those who may not have that handy or sitting at home, that's the polystyrene and plastic bag articles? Correct. Okay. So I move to recommend. So moved. Okay. All in favor? Oh, second, I meant. We knew we could meant. Second. I'm sure they recorded it as a second. That was what we'd recommend, 31? 31, 31. and 32. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to move them separately just for clarity's sake? Okay. Okay. Um, so 32, did you move? 32, I will move. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Okay. And does that, that wrap can, us up? That wraps up the warrant. And we can, okay. um, we can have a motion to sign the, the warrant. I'll entertain a motion to sign the warrant. So moved. Second. Can you sign it with the tree item still being outstanding? Yeah, we, we're, we're just signing for posting purposes. Okay. Um, All in favor? They can sign. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Um, moving quite, quite along here. We've got land donation at King Street, map 102 11-2. I'm sure you have an explanation. This, this is a parcel of land that um, is right at the corner of um, Whitman and King Street. There's a new house uh, on the lot. The residents, uh, after they got the house all finished, it's, it's wet. It's very wet, and um, I sent an email to the various departments saying that this is they're suggest they're recommending or, or offering to donate it to the town, and the conservation commission looked into it and they know there's a vernal pool there and would like the town to accept the donation of land as conservation land. Okay, so. I will entertain a motion. Did anybody have any questions? Mm -hmm. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor. Okay, uh, we've got a request from uh, Kelly George for a memorial fishing derby on Sunday, October 6th at Wampatuck Pond. Did everybody have a chance to read? There's a little flyer in our uh, mm -hmm. yep. handouts. I and moved to I will entertain a motion. Yep, uh, so moved. Second. All in favor? Okay, fabulous. And then we have got the Hanson Business Network Camp Kiwani Fee wa Waiver for a fundraiser on 314.20, which would have been the St. Patrick's Day fundraiser that Audrey was just alluding to. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? I am recusing myself because I am a member of Hanson Business Network. Okay. Um, Mary. Old business, community compact best practices selection. As you will recall, gentlemen, we had that uh, in our packages last week. It was a bit befuddling, and we needed a little bit of time to digest and kind of uh, wrap our arms around it. Mary, did you want to cue that up for us with a little bit more of an explanation? Yes, I, I talked to Deb, and it's as I said, the we have three options, and we have the housing and economic development and best practices the informational technology best practices and the asset and infrastructure management. Uh, after talking to Deb, she strongly recommends the housing economic development and the IT um, best practices. We can and only, we we can only have two. We are picking two. Yes. And she is she is recommending really those two. Strongly recommending those. She's strongly those re two. recommending those. Okay. Yes. Hint hint. Did anybody <laughs> have any questions? Comments? No, I met, I met Deb and we talked, and that's what she said. 
I mean, and she's looking for the grants to move forward. She, she has with. a lot of grants in line that she's ready to that if we, push out. Yep. If we agree, then she can push them out. I mean, my thought process is Deb is the professional. That's what we've hired her to do. She's working yep. diligently on grants. And if these are the areas she would like us to support her in, then I am in favor of that. Um, <clears throat> I will. Did anybody have any other? Matt? Oh, I just was going to say I make a motion to. Uh, go with the housing economic development best practices and the IT for the community compact. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Okay, fabulous. We are clipping along this evening. Uh, we are moving right along to discussion regarding school assessment. I don't really intend to discuss it. That might be a little bit misleading. Uh, uh, Briefly, as you know, we've got the school committee meeting tomorrow night. We've posted it as a board of selectmen meeting as well uh, in the off chance that perhaps we get passionate about the subject tomorrow night and start deliberating at the school committee meeting. Um, for my own uh, purposes, I really don't intend on saying all that much tomorrow evening. I am using it as an opportunity to educate myself on um, where the school committee is on this subject and where um, DESE is on this subject. And then I will be taking uh, that information back and working with all of you fine people and our legal counsel uh, to do what is in the best interest of Hanson. Um, while Great. simultaneously keeping in mind that we um, are in a regional district with another town. And um, I'm really trying mightily to be collegial in this process. It's very difficult. And that is my objective. I will be there tomorrow night. Okay, great. I don't know who else is planning on attending. You don't have to, you know, say for sure, but, um, you know, but I, I am planning on attending. So, uh, and I'm hoping that, you know, uh, it's karma heads prevail and... <laughs> It's going to be informational and uh, edu <coughs> educational, and uh, none of this is going to be solved overnight. Um, and I think um, there's definitely some very strong opinions, some of which I very strongly disagree with. Uh, but you know, uh, at the end of the day, we will consult with our legal counsel. So. Um, any other thoughts on that, guys? No, the only thing, I, I just wondered, how could they have not known since 2007? That's just crazy. Uh, that who's does being, seem to be the question. Who's, who's going to be held accountable for that? That's my that, only question. That question has been asked, and um, and I've I've talked to the, to the chair of the school committee about that, um, and um, I think he understands that there's some um, accountability um, you know, that's needed, and I'm certainly not looking to tire and feather anybody and run them through town. Um, but I do uh, what I, I feel as um, being on the Board of Selectmen that we should be able to have complete and utter confidence in the assessment amounts that we're being given and communicated um, to by the school committee and the district. And um, of course, we're going to trust but verify, and we will, you know, look into things. But um, certainly, to think that uh, this has been flawed since 2007 seems um, improbable. Um, and that's I've probably said more than I really had planned on. So um, we're on the same page. Thank yep. you. Yep. Any other thoughts? Okay. All right. Great. Um, so with that. Mary, we're going to queue, queue it up for the town administrator's report. Uh, I, I don't have much. Um, just to notify the residents that there will be another round of aerial spraying for the Triple E. And they're going to be starting tonight and will go several nights until the areas are sprayed. They will be overlapping. Um, the, the critical areas is what they, they plan on hitting. So some towns, since Whitman's critical, will be probably picking up some sections of Hanson. You can go on to the website, and we have something on the town website. You can go to the DEP website, and they will report in where they actually sprayed. They can't say specifically it's all weather permitting, equipment um, dependent. So you can go on their website and see if your area has been sprayed, and then they have recommendations of what to do. And um, you know, if you have, your pets are left outside for one reason or another to wash them down or, or whatever, but they they continue to attack the the triple E the best they can. So, I, 
and, and we're I going think, with a few. Um, to circle yeah. back to a vote we took last week um, relevant to closing down all of the town fields uh, with respect to the, the uh, impending threat of Triple E. Uh, just to clarify that that in fact does apply to the Whitman Hanson Regional High School fields and mm -hmm. the district did determine that on their own but um, you know in in, in our, they are complying with it but just a reminder that until um, the first hard frost although I am told by some that it should be the second hard frost um, and so we may want to seek Check independent that. verification from the department Department of Public mm -hmm. Health and tweak our vote. Um, I, I know it seems so early, but I don't know if the nights keep dipping down the way they are. We could be looking at the first hard frost quicker than <laughs> you, you might think. Um, so that's good, Mary. And yeah, I did read that they're going to be doing the spraying. And um, I guess out of an abundance of caution, it's probably good. That co combined with what we're doing, hopefully, will mitigate. I believe there were another couple of Triple E cases today. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, that's all I have. Not in Hanson, just to clarify. Just right, right, not in Hanson. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that was it. Um, Keller Williams, we're going okay. to be... You will, we'll be meeting, uh, we'll be having a conference call with Keller Williams on the McQuan School issue next Tuesday at 6 o'clock, Laura and I, and Deb. Um, and the <laughs> MRI, I, um, I know you had an opportunity to attend some of the MRI <laughs> sessions that they had yesterday. Did you go to both of them? I, I went to the evening one. I went to the one with the department heads, and yep. I took them down to this library senior center, introduced them around, and they had a few people attend at the senior center. And we had a nice, they were here for almost two hours meeting with the department heads. It was very productive. Everybody was quite open with their recommendations. and. Mostly everyone who left were very impressed with the process that they're using and their attentiveness to everybody's concerns. So they will be putting together a, what did they call it? They called it something specific that they're going to put out to the, the candidates on what the qualifications are that the town's looking it's for. It's much more comprehensive. If you, if you look at the MRI website, uh, it's posted on the Massachusetts Municipal Association uh, website already under the jobs. Um, it's fairly cryptic I mean you know it gives the basics you know the size of town and that type of thing and the salary but uh, their intention is that when people actually respond uh, they'll get something much more descriptive that will include the feedback we've all given them the feedback that they got from the various sessions from the department heads and so it will be a very um, holistic um, 360 degree perspective on you know things saying similar to you know we want somebody who's well versed in economic development we want somebody who appreciates the value of conservation land who's able to balance uh, you know the bucolic beauty I'm making this up but um, of Hanson, <laughs> no, but you're doing you know, nice job. Uh, you know uh, of Hanson with the need for thoughtful development that type mm -hmm. of thing right. um, so it will be a, a much uh, deeper dive that's more reflective uh, I think it's important to note they've already gotten 13 applications mm -hmm. which I think is pretty um, pretty interesting right. um, seeing as it just hit the bricks I think like, like two, yeah, two, yeah. two weeks ago it was yeah. out. The deadline uh, for the applications is the 30th of September, and they, they just told us that that's you know, usually the last week and a half. It's a rush. People are at home thinking about, should I do this? And then they get the applications in, so they expect to have many more applications in but they will they'll put all they'll gather all the information from the, the three sessions they had and add it to this description of the town of Hanson and what the residents are looking for run it by Laura and I before they post it to their website and residents are able to go online mm -hmm. and email them directly if they weren't able to attend if they have any specific you know requests or suggestions it's all confidential people can go online throw them an email and they'll take it under advisement they will you have that link on our website that right? link is on our yep. website as well and they announced it last night and Carol was good enough to attend both sessions and record them so they'll be out on cable so they can see what happened down at the senior center and what happened here they did not record what happened at the department head meeting well, that's probably you know that that's was, probably just that's as well. Probably good. Um, but it, uh, I think it's important to note that they are um, thinking we'll get 25 to 30 mm -hmm. applications, and in their um, experience, a lot of the uh, applications come in the last week, um, and they really actually have indicated that some of the more serious candidates actually apply 
towards the end of the process just because it really does take a lot of thinking about whether you're going to relocate and that type of stuff and we've had people ask questions like why are you guys hiring a firm to hire somebody mm -hmm. Well, we're not hiring a firm to hire somebody. We're hiring a firm to help us call through the 25 to 30 applications we're going to get, some of which will be completely inappropriate and probably right. not even, you know, on the market at all because people just say, what the heck, I'll put my application in. Um, and these, um, this company really vets the candidates, and they have ways of finding out background information, um, on candidates that we would have no way of doing, and even if we did, may not be permitted to do as a governmental agency. Um, so not to suggest they're doing anything illegal or inappropriate, but just they, they have methodologies that we may not uh, be able to avail ourselves of. And I, you know, they know people in the industry, so they're able to kind of do that. And we need that kind of support for, uh, so that we know that that final three or four or five candidates that come before this board have met all of the criteria of what we've discussed. They've done background checks, they've done everything so that we, they have handpicked the top five candidates for us to look at. It's time saving, it's a risk management, mm -hmm. um, you know, frankly, from my perspective, it's a risk management uh, strategy for us. Um, and they've even said that if we don't end up um, being able to pick from the top five, that they'll go through this whole process again at their cost. So um, just an FYI on that. Right. Um, okay. Uh, anything else, Mary? Nope. I believe that's it. Okay. That m moves us on to the approval of September 10th, 2019 regular and executive session. And are we releasing the executive session? No, we aren't approving those yet. We're going to table those until next week. We'll okay. Yeah, Great. Nice. So Great. Uh, that moves us on to the one day liquor license. We have a the one in italics for bartending services yes. um, for the food festival. We're not, that's not going to happen. So you can approve all the others. Okay. And can you um, give us a brief explanation? It's just a little, I don't know what item 6A is here. The bartending rec fundraiser? Is yeah, that that's the rec. Um, oh, all right. Well, that one wasn't in italics, so I didn't know. Yeah. Um, so that's the same thing? Yeah, because that one that okay. one we just scanned later on. It wasn't part that when Greer scanned them in, the the whole group was together, and that one was last, so she just numbered that okay, one. Okay, but was, I, I, I'm not sure if it, it may just be, it isn't actually the bartending service, is it? When, when Recreation does their own event, it's the, um, the liquor license is issued to the bartending service. Okay, fine. Because Jim and I really couldn't understand what that was yes. saying. Um, okay, I will entertain a motion. And as per usual, because some of these are surprises, we don't typically read out uh, what they are. So, um, did so anybody? Moved. Okay. Second. Uh, Second. Any, any discussion? Okay. All in favor? All right, fantastic. Moving on, 200th anniversary committee. I don't have much to say. Audrey just gave us an update this evening. So moving on, final Plymouth County Hospital Reuse Committee. What say you, Matt? Yeah, so we met last week. Um, we finally got our um, survey done down at the Plymouth County Hospital to show the true topography of the property. Now we can kind of start getting into the next phase of really looking at the conceptual designs that, that came from Conway School. Um, and start really fine-tuning of what we hope to do, phases and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of really exciting. You guys must be relieved to right. Get we can to actually that start. Yeah, yeah, we can actually start talking about that. So we're starting to t discuss not only the layout, but also you know signing standards and stuff mm -hmm. like that to kind of give it a nice professional, uh, uniform feel. So uh, we're moving along with that. So we're meeting tomorrow, uh, just to talk about. Um, um, with our last uh, engineer, we just have to finalize a couple of bills with them. And that's pretty much all we have for right now. Well, that's exciting progress. I'm psyched to hear that. Uh, McQuan School Reuse Committee, we're meeting next uh, Tuesday with the gentleman for Kel from Kellen Williams and more to be discussed um, after we meet with them and hopefully hear what progress they have made. Uh, that brings us to you, Mr. Mitchell, Highway Building Committee. So I'm still waiting to hear back from the engineer. And Mary, I may send you an email tomorrow and ask you for a little help. Okay. Just poking the bear a little bit. Sure. We had a meeting set up last week and then they canceled the last second. And I sent him an email waiting to find out what day to meet up again. I haven't heard back from him. Okay. So I'll send you something tomorrow. No problem. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, and with that, we are scheduled to go into an executive session to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining for the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, Council 93, Highway, if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body, and the chair so declares. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. And roll call. Aye. 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 Okay.